Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Significant agreements were once again signed at this year's Africa Aerospace and Defence Exhibition. Keith Campbell discusses some of the key developments announced at this year's event. Hi Keith. Denal Aviation and Airbus Helicopters have announced that they will be cooperating on upgrading the Denal Royfalk. What will this entail? Well, the Royfalk helicopter makes use of uh, European technologies in what's called its dynamic systems. Uh, these are what convey the power from the engines to the main rotors and to the tail rotor and include the rotors, the main rotors, the tail rotor themselves. Uh, so the focus uh, of the cooperation with Airbus Helicopters, which is previously known as Eurocopter, uh, will be on assisting uh, Danelle with the upgrading of the dynamic systems of the Roy Falk uh, to achieve the uh, improved version of the helicopter. Now, this is an upgrade of the 11 machines that are operated by the South African Air Force. It is not to be confused with the proposal, only a proposal, for what's called the Roy Falk Mark II, which would be a new production, uh, which would be new production machines and what should need uh, an international, at least one international customer uh, to join in to be able to make a reality. So this is focused on an upgrade of the existing helicopters in service of the South African Air Force with the European company providing assistance on the, as I say, the dynamic components. Uh, connected with the, the main rotor system, the tail rotor system, the drive shafts, gearboxes, uh, hinges, all that kind of thing. South Africa has been identified as a priority defence market in Africa for the UK. Why is this? Well, uh, the defence trade between Britain and uh, the UK uh, is uh, not the biggest element in Anglo-South African trade. It's worth about British defence and security exports to South Africa are worth about 22 million pounds a year. Uh, total two-way trade between the two countries comes to about 10 billion pounds a year. But it is a, 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 a sector with a lot of potential because of considerations, South African considerations such as improving border security and uh, Further uh, into the future, the whole question of uh, securing South Africa's territorial waters uh, and the air above and the water underneath the surface, the, the whole um, sphere of the blue economy, which has to be policed, patrolled and protected. So there are considerable uh, opportunities for British companies uh, in South Africa in the defence and security sector. And South Africa accounts for a third of all uh, British trade with the whole of sub-Saharan Africa in the defence and, and security sphere. Uh, the, what the British are seeking to do, their approach is to try and develop partnerships with South African companies. And the uh, British government is also uh, encouraging, and since the last AAD in 2014, has been actively encouraging South African companies to bid for defence contracts in Britain. Of course, defence contracts cover gigantic range. They're not just uh, top-end things like new warships or supersonic fighters. They can include things like blankets and, and toilet paper and uh, basic consumables for barracks and bases and what have you. So there's a huge range available and uh, the uh, British uh, uh, were able to point out a number of South African companies have actually registered now to with the British Ministry of Defence to bid for British defence contracts. The Danel Group has also signed a partnership agreement with a Chinese company in the maritime space. What can you tell us about this agreement? Well, the company is called Poly Technologies. The Chinese company is called Poly Technologies. This covers shipbuilding, ship repair, and related uh, 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 maritime services. Uh, 
it's uh, part of Donnell's plan to get much more heavily involved in the maritime sector than it has been so far. Uh, Donnell has a relatively new division called the Donnell Integrated Systems and Maritime. Uh, the two com and as part of this, the two companies have put in a joint bid for the South African Navy's Barrow project for three new offshore patrol vessels plus three inshore patrol vessels. Uh, so they are offering designs from Polytechnologies to fulfill both these roles. They've also, they're also, there's also a bid in for Project Hotel, which is for a new hydrographic uh, survey ship. In that case, Polytechnologies is a lead bidder and Donnell is subcontractor in, in that bid. Um, Donnell uh, ISM, as it's uh, called for short, uh, is hopeful that uh, negotiations underway uh, will allow to take over the Simonstown Dockyard, which is currently run by Arms Corps. The Simonstown Dockyard is located within the Simonstown Naval Base, but they're actually separate entities. Uh, the Naval Base, of course, belongs to the Navy. Uh, but the aim is to boost the Nell's participation in the naval and maritime sector and hopefully strengthen the South African maritime sector as a whole. Um, as uh, Ismail Dokrat of Donnell ISM said, uh, the South African maritime industry needs foreign investment and the Chinese are willing to invest in it. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.